ज्यादा හැමෝම ඉල්ලුවේ හැබැයි හරියකට කියා ගන්න බැරි වුණා මොනවද මේ සිස්ටම් චේන්ජස් කියන ඒ කියලා ඒකට ෆෝකස් එකක් ඇත්තටම අද ලැබෙයි කියලා මට හිතෙනවා මේ බර්නාඩ් ගේ කතාව සෝ අපි මේක කතා කරගෙන යන පොඩ්ඩක් බැක්ග්‍රවුන්ඩ් එක වෙන්න නම් ගිස් ඉකොනොමික් ඉන්ටලිජන්ස් යුනිට් එකේ හැටියට ලංකාව දැන් ක්ලැසිෆයි වෙලා තියෙන්නේ ෆ්ලෝඩ් ඩෙමොක්‍රසි එකක් හැටියට එතකොට ෆ්ලෝඩ් ඩෙමොක්‍රසි කියන එක බලාගොහම දැන් ලං ලෝකේ රටවල් බැලුවහම හතර වර්ගයක් කියන්න පුළුවන් ෆුල් ඩෙමොක්‍රසිස් තියෙනවා ෆ්ලෝඩ් ඩෙමොක්‍රසිස් තියෙනවා හයිබ්‍රිඩ් රෙජිම්ස් තියෙනවා ඔතරටේනියන් රෙජිම්ස් තියෙනවා දැන් මේ ඔතරටේනියන් රෙජිම්ස් බැලුවහම පෙනෙයි මේ ආසියාවේ පැත්තේ කොච්චර ප්‍රමාණයක් අප්‍රිකාවේ එහෙම මේ ඔතරටේනියන් රෙජිම්ස් තියෙනවද කියලා එතකොට වෙස්ටර්න් කන්ට්‍රීස් ගත්තාම එතනත් පොඩි වෙනසක් තියෙනවා දැන් USA යන්නේ ෆ්ලෝඩ් ඩෙමොක්‍රසි එකක් හැටියට. එතකොට ෆුල් ඩෙමොක්‍රසි තියෙන කන්ට්‍රීස් ගොඩක් මේ නෝඩික් කන්ට්‍රීස් තමයි තියෙන්නේ. එතකොට මෙතන කැනඩාවත් තියෙනවා ඒ අත. සෝ ඇන්ඩ් ඔස්ට්‍රේලියා. සෝ ඉතින් මේක බලාගෙන යනකොට මේ ඉකොනොමික් ඉන්ටලිජන්ස් යුනිට් එකෙන් මේ ෆ්ලෝඩ් ඩෙමොක්‍රසි කියලා ක්ලැසිෆයි කරනකොට ලංකාව මේ මොකද්ද මේ යුනිට් එක මේ යුනිට් එක කියන්නේ ඉකොනොමික් ඉන්ටලිජන්ස් යුනිට් එක කියන්නේ කිය කියන්නේ රිසර්ච් ආම් එක කියන එක දි ඉකොනොමික්ස් ග්‍රූප් එකේ ඒකේ ඔෆිසර්ස් හතරක් මේන්ලි තියෙනවා ලන්ඩන් වල නිව් යෝක් වල හොන්ග් කොං වල සහ ඩුබායි වල එතකොට ඒගොල්ලෝ මේ ක්ලැසිෆයි කරනකොට ඒගොල්ලෝ ඒකට ප්‍රශ්න 60ක් පාවිච්චි කරලා තමයි මේ රේටින් එක දෙන්නේ ඒ ප්‍රශ්න 60 එකතු වෙන මේන් කැටගිරිස් පහකට එකක් තමයි ඉලෙක්ට්‍රල් ප්‍රොසෙස් ඇන්ඩ් ප්ලූරලිසම් ඒ කියන්නේ මැති වෙන ක්‍රියාවලිය සිවිල් ලිබර්ටිස් සිවිල් නිදහස ෆන්ක්ෂනිංග් ඔෆ් ගවර්න්මන්ට් රජයේ ක්‍රියාකාරීත්වය පොලිටිකල් පාටිසිපේෂන් දේශපාලන සහභාගිත්වය සහ පොලිටිකල් කල්චර් එක දේශපාලන සංස්කෘතිය ගැන සෝ ඉතින් ඒක බලාගෙන යනකොට මේක තියෙනවා මේ පෙනල්ටි පොයින්ට්ස් හම් වෙනවා සමහර දේවල් වලට මේ ස්කෝ එකේදී ඒකේ තියෙන ක්වෙස්චන්ස් හතරක් ඒ හතරත් ඉතාම වැදගත් හොයලා බලන්න වෙද නැෂනල් ඉලෙක්ෂන්ස් ඒ කියන්නේ ජාතික මැතිවරණ නිදහස් සහ සාධාරණ ද යන බව ඊට පස්සේ ද සෙකියුරිටි ඔෆ් වෝටර්ස් ඒ කියන්නේ ඡන්දදායකින්ගේ ආරක්ෂාව එතකොට තුන්වෙනි එක ද ඉන්ෆ්ලුවන්ස් ඔෆ් ෆොරින් පවර්ස් ඔන් ගවර්න්මන්ට් රජයට විදේශ බල වේග බල බලපෑම ඊට පස්සේ ද කේපබිලිටි ඔෆ් ද සිවිල් සර්වන්ට්ස් ටු ඉම්ප්ලිමන්ට් පොලිසිස් ඒ කියන්නේ ප්‍රතිපත්ති ක්‍රියාත්මක කිරීමට සිවිල් සේවකයන්ට ඇති හැකියාව. දැන් මේක බැලුවහම අපිට අපේ පර්සනල් එක්ස්පීරියන්ස් වලින් තේරෙන්න ඕනේ අපිට කොතනද මේ ගැනත් වැරදිලා තියෙන්නේ කියලා. එතකොට මේකේ එතකොට මේ මේක විතරක් නෙමෙයි පොඩ්ඩක් තව හොයලා බලනවා නම් හොතයි කොහොමද මේ ඩෙමොක්‍රසි කියන මේ කැටගරි එක මොකක් හරි දෙයකට අපිට වැදගත්කමක් වෙනවද කියලා. එතකොට ලෝකේ තියෙන 20 හැපියස්ට් කන්ට්‍රීස් ඒක ස්කෝ කරලා තියෙන විදිය මම හරි කතා කරන්න යන්නේ නැහැ හැපියස්ට් කන්ට්‍රීස් බැලුවතින් මේ මෙතන දෙන විස්සෙන් මේ ග්‍රීන් වලට තියෙන ඒවා තමයි හැපියස්ට් කන්ට්‍රීස් එතකොට දැන් ලංකාවේ ඉඳලා පුළුවන් තරම් මයිග්‍රේට් වෙන්න ට්‍රයි කරන අය ගොඩාක් අය ටාගට් කරන්නේත් මේ හැපියස්ට් කන්ට්‍රීස් තමයි හැබැයි පොඩ්ඩක් හිතලා බලන්න ඕනේ අපි happiest නැත්තේ මොකද කියන එකත් හිතලා බලන්න ඕනේ හැබැයි යන්න හදන අය ඔය කන්ට්‍රීස් තමයි ගොඩක්ම ටාගට් ඒ ඒ 20 ගත්තොත් ඒ මුලින් ටොප් එකටම තියෙන 20 happiest countries ගත්තොත් ඒකෙනුත් 75% ආ full democracy ඒ කියන්නේ full democracy එකක් තියෙනවා නම් chances of becoming a happiest country is more හැබැයි flawed democracies ඒ කියන්නේ Israel flawed democracy එකක් United States flawed democracy එකක් චෙක් රිපබ්ලික් බෙල්ජියම් ෆ්‍රාන්ස් ඒ වගේ රටවල් පහකුත් මේ 20ට අයිති වෙනවා හයිබ්‍රිඩ් ඒව හරි ඔතරටේරියන් ඒව හරි එකක්වත් මේ 20ට අයිති වෙලා නැහැ ලංකාවේ පොසිෂන් එක 127 අෆ්ගනිස්තාන් තමයි අන්තිමට ඉන්නේ ඒක 146යි 
දැන් අපිට හිතා ගන්න පුළුවන් අපේ හැපි ලෙවල් එක කොච්චරද කියලා ලෝකේ අනිත් අය රටේ වල ඒ රට වල වල ජීවත් වෙන සහන්දියාව ගැන බලනවා ඉතින් මේ ඒක හිතා ගන්න එක හොඳයි මොකද ෆුල් ඩෙමොක්‍රසි එකක් කියනවා නේ මේ චාන්ස් එක වැඩි තමන් මේ හැපිය කන්ට්‍රි එකක් වෙන්න there since 1948 we have gone behind glorified names for leaderships then ape independence ing idlama godak pelahara election ekak enawa namak issarahata enawa samahara welata enama avurudu 10 paalo 20 30 politics wala tiwila tiyenawa but suddenly it comes up etakota meka mehema wenne mokada na 1970 api nayakatwe sandaha utkarsha nang wena lada nam pasu pasu giyemu namuth awasane apa at karagatte bankolot kam निशा विक्टरी एक दर्शन से हत्या हते थी जी आर जय बाद है ना completely opposite landslide victory का नामक पीटीपास से गया ये तो कोटा ये तो कोटा ये तो क्या ने पाहिंग हायक सीट्स तो वो ना पार्लिमेंट के एक दर्शन से हत्या हते glorified name मुकदा उन्हें ये तो कोटा इड बसे रणसिंह प्रमदास गे तत्तर काटिए दुगने दुगने किया इट पास चंद्रिका बंदर ने दें चंद्रिका बंदर ने है कि अत्तर गेना भी इनवाइट कर ला पेरिसी हिंदला इनवाइट कर ला गेना ला नाम ग्लोरिफाई कर ला मैं चंद्रिया कारगने दूँगा कारगने दूँगा टे वैडा कुने नह मुकेदे इट पास सेंग हिट बो माइंडर आज अपाक से इट पास से ग्लोरिफाइड ने में का वेला इस रहाटा � හරි මිනිස් සිට එකක් ඇතුළේ වෙලා එකතු වෙනවා වගේ පෙනුම නැට කවුද මේක පිටිපස්සෙන් තල්ලු කරන්නේ එකම කට්ටියයි කියන එක තමයි අපිට තේරුම් ගන්න ඕන. ඊට පස්සේ ගෝඨාභය ගෙනාම ලොකු කැම්පේන් එකක් කරලා ඉස්සරහට 2019 දී. සෝ එහෙ එහෙම වෙලා බලනකොට අපි ටික වඩා හිතලා බලන්න ඕනේ. 2020 දැන් ඉලෙක්ෂන් එකක් තියෙනවා නම් should we go behind another glorified name having failed for the last 75 years? or go with the people to change the system to ensure competent leaders are produced and sustained with proper checks and balances now checks and balances is very important mokada kavurath honda unata honda vela tiyene naha e gola wenas wenam mokada wateta tiyena influence eka nisa an eka nathi wena vidiyata checks and balances tiyena wanan eka pitha wedaga etakota api eka nisa thamai leads dan me avurde thirne kari api ideal मैनिफेस्टोस देखा खादा ना वह दाग नहीं आना वधन है ना प्रेसिडेंशियल इलेक्शन मैनिफेस्टो एका कोई पार्लिमेंट्री इलेक्शन मैनिफेस्टो एका कोई द मेन मैनिफेस्टोस अत्तरे में गुड़ा कुवेनस वही दं अनित आये प्रिपेयर करके नहीं आने वाई क्या ने ग्लोरीफाई कर पुए वाई क्या ने आप आप योग गलांट क्वालिफिकेशन सर තියුණු කම්පිටන්සිස් කන එක්ස්පීරියන්ස් එකට වඩා හිස හිස් බීන් රයිටින් අබවුට් ඉලෙක්ෂන් සිස්ටම් සින්ස් 1997 එතකොට මේ ළඟදී ආටිකල්ස් කීප් එකක් ලියලා තිබුණා මේ සිස්ටම් චේන්ජස් ගැන ඒ නිසා මම බලාගෙන හිතනවා මට හිතුණා බර්නාඩ් තමයි හොඳ මනුස්ස මේ ගැන අපිට කතා කරන්න පුළුවන් මොකද එච්චර දැනුමකින් කතා කරන්න තව කට්ටිය අඩුයි මේ දවස්වල 
එතකොට ඒ හි ඉස් ගෝයින් ටු ටොක් අද කතා කරන්න යන්නේ ශ්‍රී ලංකාවේ මැතිවරණයකට පෙර අවශ්‍ය පද්ධති වෙනස්කම ඒ කියන්නේ අපිට මේක තේරුම් කරගන්න මේක පද්ධති වෙනස්කම් නොකුණත් අපිට පහු වෙනකොට තේරේ මොනවද අපි කරගන්න ඕනේ ඒ රට හරි ගස්ස ගන්න තියෙන එයාගේ ටොක් එකේ 15 ඇටම්ස් තියෙනවා ඒකේ පොඩි ඩ්‍රාෆ්ට් එකක් මට එවර තුන මම ඒක ප්‍රසන්න කරන්නේ නැහැ මම කෙලින්ම කතා කරන්න අරිනවා බර්නාඩ්ට මොකද බර්නාඩ්ගේ සමරි එකේ ඒ ටොක් එකේ තියෙනවා හතර පැත්ත පළවෙනි එක තමයි වයි සිස්ටම් චේන්ජස් ආ නැසරි ෆෝ ශ්‍රී ලංකා බිෆෝ ඇන් ඉලෙක්ෂන් ඒ කියන්නේ මැතිවරණ එකේ පෙර ශ්‍රී ලංකාවට පද්ධති වෙනස්කම් අවශ්‍ය වන්නේ ඇයි එතකොට දෙවෙනි එක තමයි what are the system changes that meet aspirations of principal stakeholders ඒ කියන්නේ ප්‍රධාන කොටස්කරුවගේ අභිලාෂයන් සපුරාන්න පද්ධති වෙනස්කම් මොනවාද ඒ කියන්නේ so තුන්වෙනි එක system changes to rationalize the political administration system the make examples keep එකක් දීලා තියෙනවා ඒ කියන්නේ දේශපාලන පරිපාලන පද්ධති තාර්ක කිරීම සඳහා පද්ධති වෙනස් කිරීමට අවශ්‍ය දේවල් එකක් තමයි depoliticizing the local government elections අනිත් එක abolishing executive presidency with short term alternative establishing a sustainable national cabinet and strengthening pcs palat palana ayathana deshpalani karana ingivat kirima saha mathivarna kethikarane bilata pratika magi vidayaka janathipatikare ahosi kirima tirasarage jathika amathi mandala pitiwa saha palat pa shahataka thama e wage examples ki patta mai me gana eya katha karanna yanne bernard etakota antimata summarize karanna one he is going to do the election changes wala summary ekak wenna na thamai katha karanna bernard i will stop the yes. point fantastic Now uh, I started with uh, why and what. So let me, uh, as we have given a very good introduction, it, it makes things easier for me. So I'll I'll go ahead. Why and what? Uh, system our necessary for Sri Lanka uh, before an ele- election. So these are I uh, in point form. So, uh, if you can read it, can anyone read or shall I read it? Can you read it, please? Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, I can hear okay. you now. Okay, can I'll hear? read. I'll read one by one. Number one. One point one. It yes. is irrational, futile, and untimely for a country marred by bankruptcy, owing to political and maladministration and outdated electoral system, to hold elections without effecting robust system changes to such fail. political and electoral systems yeah is it understood i can explain uh, 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 tell in single uh, a little bit so that because each, others will understand because each word is very important each word is critical it is irrational for in the first place it is futile in the second place then it is untimely not for any any country but for sri lanka because it was marred by bankruptcy owing to nothing else no i wouldn't say nothing else but many but owing mainly to political maladministration and outdated electoral systems for the last 75 years that is why we have come to that uh, you know uh, to the bottom of this problem uh, uh, in the abyss uh, we have gone bankrupt declared to hold election so uh, now it is very clear because of this uh, outdated electoral system and political structure that we have come to this stage so that is why before any elections what i am saying is Uh, why election is necessary because uh, so system changes are necessary to our failed political and electoral system both have failed so we are okay, uh, do you want to take questions as we go one by one uh, uh, anything i think if you can moderate it probably no problem yeah okay so any any questions on 1.1 any any concerns any comments yes i have yes go for it yeah yes uh it is irrational futile and all time we agree yes. we all agree there are only we are there is only 9 to 9 months left is the country uh can we get the people of, a sufficient number of people in the country to agree with this and change the, the that we desire and we recommend before this election do we have the time to do that Yes. Yes. You can just respond. Yes. Yeah. Now this is the practice of the politicians all over the years for the last seventy-five years. I have been t- now. I brought the system changes at the Aragale time in April when the Aragale was on. 
uh, I uh, wrote an open letter that was published in the press, giving all the system changes. And the politicians did not, did not care a hoot about it, and they remained as usual because they are so cunning. And uh, the, the, they wait till the last moment when the elections are around. They start talking about now there's no time to do any system changes. If we get to come into power, we'll do the system changes. This has been the uh, 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 he, uh, this has been the slogan up for the politicians, not for the, uh, not for the election, uh, not for the electors or the sovereign voters. So this slogan, this is going on always. This it comes to this uh, point of uh, at the you know uh, finally it is a case of no time to do system changes. Let's go in the same way. So then I number two will show you what, what is going to happen if we hold elections. Okay, now yeah, but, uh, shall I come in again? Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Shall I come in again? All that you say is true, Bernard. Yes. We all agree with you. Yeah. How the, uh, the politicians who ought to make, in, in, those who are in power who ought to do this before the election will not do it saying, as you say, yeah. they have always said this, now no time will come and after winning we'll do it and they'll yeah. never do it. You see, having known all this, we should have prepared for that to answer uh, one or two years ago. You see, and got the people ready uh, on our side. We have yeah. not done that. Yeah. No, the thing is, I don't know uh, the, the mechanism of, of getting people to agree to these things. Now, what I have been doing is I have highlighted uh, in writing to the press from since twenty uh, since 2016. 17, 18, I have been writing, I have given can a list. I, uh, can I be years. focused because I think there are yeah. several items to go through? Yeah, so yeah. Question is, yeah. can we do it in whether, at least partially within the next nine months? That is the question. Exactly. So we can still, still uh, um, inform public about the changes necessary. So they might change, the, change their mindset. But yeah. is there anything that we can do? For example... Uh, election commission, can you can you do anything through the election commission? Exactly, as we discussed the other day, the last meeting, that we should go to election commission and find out what things that within their ambit that they can do. Okay, so that's number one. Yes. We can yes. go for it. But, see, uh, yes, one a little more. If we, that I think it's a good idea. We can at least go to the election commissioner and tell them this. You see, we might get a little publicity. That's also a good thing. Yes. Uh, we can, uh, but the election commissioner, commissioner will definitely say there is a time problem. We won't have time to uh, enough to do this, make these changes. It's not easy. You have to go to parliament, pass laws, and so on. You see, it it, it never happened within these nine months. It's impractical. The second is that there is a danger here. Mm -hmm. There is a, a serious danger here. Yeah. Don't forget the vast majority of people presently in parliament are not very, are afraid of going to election. They know they are going to lose. You see, this they will make use of. You see, they'll make use of uh, saying, yes, now there is a movement. If some people want uh, system changes to be made before election, now we'll postpone the election and do that first. That means we are not going to have uh, elections again, even yeah. in mind. Yes. See? Yeah, yeah. That that wait, 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 one more point. Wait, will you? You see, I always remember what happened in uh, Egypt. What happened in Egypt? Now, I don't want to go into detail. I can tell you what happened in Egypt. I will be taking more time. I have a feeling this what happened in uh, Egypt will happen in Sri Lanka if you do this. Now, thank you. Yes. So, yeah, so just a second uh, before we go. Yeah. So there yes. is a danger here that you will give a loophole for the corrupt politicians to have postponed elections, basically. And yes. it has happened in the provincial councils. Remember saying the borders need to be redone or something? We never had provincial council elections for years and years. Yes. Now, if we push that, will that happen? Now, yes. 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 Can I respond? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now, now, if you read 1.2, it will now you will see the what is going to happen if you okay, go let's, elections. Shall I read the 1.2 then? Okay. Yeah. yeah. 1.2 is considering yeah. the history of our political culture. 
there is absolutely no guarantee that system changes will be done by a new government with traditional politicians elected under the prevailing political and electoral system. Exam failure to abolish executive presidents since 1994 and reduction of uh, LG members since 2018, despite unanimity among all recognized political parties. Yes, this is what has been happening for the last 75 years and it is going to happen again and we will be with the, in, in the same problem abyss and we won't be able to come out of it and I think we will be do, doomed to, uh, to the... Uh, uh, to the dustbin of history, because it, it is very clear now. You can see the, how the crossovers are taking place even now. It's the same people who are going to contest. So if they are going to contest, where are we? We are spending more than ten billion. Ultimately, we will be back in square one. So that, what's the point? I mean, I'm just <laughs> elections. Elections is very popular, popular term, popular word. But the, so having uh, known this, we should have done this, about, started uh, off on this campaign about two or three years ago. Yes. You see, it's our fault. It's our fault. You see, we should have started on this. Where is our forward planning? Where is our forward thinking? No. We should have started on this about two or three years ago and got, got the people uh, yes. uh, to understand this danger. You see, this is done disadvantage. Yeah. yeah. Too, yeah. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, Nir yeah. Nirmalan has raised the hand as well. Nirmalan, yes. Uh, yeah, okay. So, um, uh, I read the, this first one and I agree system change is required. Now, the thing is, what I would like to hear from Bernard is uh, the, the path or the model that he recommends must be followed in order to change the system. Yes. Right? Now, I've been listening to Ranjan, and from Ranjan, I get the feeling that he would like us to uh, convince all the people that we have to make this change and, and get the people, I presume, to elect us into power or something like that, or elect to power somebody who's willing to make the change. Now, that is one way, um, um, the, the so-called democratic way. Now, I would like to hear from Bernard what way he recommends that we do it within this period that we have. Okay, Bernard, over to you. Yes. Now, uh, as I mentioned, now first, uh, and under the present uh, constitution, the next election is going to be the presidential election. That is in November. Nobody can, as it is, uh, postpone it. Number two, now, uh, now we are talking more about the electoral changes, no? that is electoral changes to the parliament, no? So that we have till time till uh, uh, August 2025. 2025. So now, if we have the, the uh, presidential election in November, I have, I have proposed that it should not be the same old uh, uh, kettle, but it, 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 there are at least minimum two changes have to be done. If, if we hold, that is people elected executive president, from 1994, it has been in the back burn and it, it, it was uh, hanging fire. No? So, that what people wanted was mainly to make the pres executive president a um, non party man, non partisan person. He must be an independent. If he, if he is a party man, definitely that balance among the three pillars will go for a six because the president and the parliament are both one because president is also a party man and parliament also same party. So in order to improve the equilibrium in the three pillars, it is necessary that we have an independent president who, who comes because even the preference vote that is in the present system also is actually meant for individual to contest so that if we don't want, if you want a second preference, we can again mark another uh, independent candidate as a preference. If you have parties contesting, nobody will uh, 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 go for a second preference because they have only one party to select. They won't go for a second party to select because they, they, they are at uh, loggerheads. No, so no no vote is in a position to go for a preference vote. So if we have independent candidates coming, that is one. Number two is. Now we have, we have, because of this dictatorial uh, executive presidential system, we want it to be, you know, cut down to size uh, without the dictatorial provisions. And, and also that uh, being an independent president, he, he should be a statesman. 
he should be a statesman. That's what should be done. Uh, if we have, if we have the presidency election, these two at least it can, it can be done. Only independent. So, uh, sorry, uh, you have put the slides down. So go ah, up yes. to the first slide. Ah, sorry. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, so if we have an independent president, uh, then at least then we can go ahead for the elections next time. At that independent president will be able to ensure the uh, system stages within that nine is, months. Yeah, that is a... very true, uh, Bernard. But if you say an independent candidate, shall we say we find one? But there will be no money to fund them, isn't it? If you are going independent, no, no, that, 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 that no, money that is the secondary factor. Now, we people, I mean, independent candidates should come on their own audition. And people should understand that there, there would there, there are media media there are, then you get the you get press me all mass media are there so naturally they all will be having a equal ground no never, okay never right. so that's a good one so independent candidate so it will probably be good to write down as to what he should do as well isn't it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Now he will not have any dictatorial power, and he also will be uh, subject to judicial re review. Judicial review; those are the two things that people wanted out from uh, this dictatorial ex executive presidency. Those are the two areas. If we have that too clear, then we will have a very real statesman like president who will do the just thing, justice to the people. So with that, that these system changes, we should be able to. Uh, go through these system changes. Then another uh, proposal so, that I was... uh, just a second, Bernard. All yeah. the system changes, whatever we suggest, has yeah. to come through the parliament, isn't it? Not through the president, right? It's not through the president, but president exactly. Is so like so the the whoever the independent candidate's role should be right. to get the parliamentary system right. Exactly. Yes. Uh, yeah. That independent president has no party affiliations. No. He should be able to say this is what the country needs, and this is what the purpose. The thing is now all these our we are the sovereign, so called sovereign voters. We are, but at the bottom, this whole system is inverted. No. The our representatives are rooting the roost. They are calling the shots. We are just down. That's why these uh, even the uh, proposals that I made in 2016, uh, not that we, we, didn't, uh, we are coming only now to, uh, with system changes. So since they have been hanging fire from 2016, I made a presentation to the, that time election commissioner, Mr. Mahindra Desh, 2017, I did. And he said these uh, proposals are very good, but you also come through another organization, then we will be able to take it up and that's all. But they, they, they endorse the proposals. But they, they don't they are not going to do anything. Even the so-called voter dedicated organizations, I have sent copies to them since 2016. They are only in, in, interested in small uh, nuts and bolts only, but they are not looking at this uh, fundamental errors in the election system. Equality of vote is not there. People are not getting the correct representatives for the those are the two main, two main uh, things that should be changed in this system. Otherwise, the, that's what Aragale came up. No, Aragale said. Okay, okay. Okay, Bernard. Let's stop. We'll be focused. Otherwise, we just go yeah. around. So, the now, so independent candidate, okay, it's a good option because we can't say the ship is running, it's going to sink. We can't do anything. Let's all sink. That is not the purpose of this uh, discussion. So, now, if you have an independent candidate, okay, now, there, there's a, some uh, discussion in the in the in the in the chat as well. So the the why can't we give say three or four action plans which we discussed before, right? So you have an independent candidate, you have action plan one, two, three, and then hundred days, two hundred days, or three hundred days done. And as you say, then abolish presidency. Can yes. that be done? You think? Yeah, we, we should be, because that has been hanging for since 1994. They are not been happening for 30 years. So then, what's the big idea if we can't do that kind of change? We have done some changes. I mean, okay. Yeah. Nirman, done. Nirman has raised hand again. Nirman, yeah. Um, yes. Yeah, okay. Bernard, back to you again. Now it yeah. looks like most of us want uh, or think that this independent candidate is going to be a good thing, right? Yeah. Now, now, so we are with you on that, Bernard. But Bernard, now you must tell us how before October, 
we actually get an independent presidential candidate, get him nominated as well, and see that the fellow is elected. What is your game plan? So, and, now, this is left to, not to uh, me, but individuals, this is left to the press and the, the media. It is the media who can drive this whole thing. That is the thing, even media bias, this is the whole problem. Even the so-called dedicated organizations are biased, even the NEC may be biased, so nobody is going to trust the other. Okay, people. okay, hang on, Bernard. Then, then what you're saying is, you know, we all, you know what is the best thing that should happen. Yeah. Um, most of us agree with you that indeed that is the best thing that should happen. Yeah. But, but uh, apart from hoping that the media will also agree with us and, and do what has to be yeah. done, which yeah. is a lot, yeah. uh, we don't have any game plan as how to make it happen. Am I right there? Yeah, yeah. Now, get, now get, get, there, there can be several game uh, plans. If you recall, we agreed that the last time for the Leeds Forum brought this uh, uh, appealing to the Supreme Court no, for a referendum. So uh, if we can go ahead with that, then, then we can, if the Supreme Court gives a ruling, then, uh, then, of course, we should be able to do something on the system changes. Because now, uh, it is nothing but rational. As I said, it is futile, irrational and untimely to have elections sent in 20 and getting the same people back. And, uh, and uh, how long are we going uh, to do this? How okay, long so we... from this discussion, there is a little opening, as I can say. I mean, you can put an independent candidate with a clear action plan so that people will... But there's no guarantee once they're elected that will happen. That is another issue you have because then you have uh, this, say, three action plans, okay? These we can scrutinize. Now, number one is how do we find an independent candidate who will take this up? That's number one. Then number two is if we are looking for the secondary vote to come up so that party fellows will... will get their first vote to the parties and the second manape will go to go to the second person if he's good enough and yeah. got the message across that's the yeah. plan you're saying isn't it yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. independent candidates uh, should contest so they are they are shall we go to the next one because we yeah. have some kind yeah. of yeah yeah there. yeah so why still we are on the why why uh, system there? That is his number three. What I'm saying is historic, peaceful, intelligent. That was the zenith of the whole thing, which we again were going to miss by the new gen generation and the youth climax, 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 the all you need for system changes at that time. Because they said, go to go home. That 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 actually meant political administration structure should be changed. Executive president should be changed. That was part of the, part of the thing, the underlying uh, reason. And this is the 225, the underlying reason is the electoral system should be refined. We must have a real uh, suitable representatives in a representative democracy, not uh, the what you call uneducated uh, people. That's why I think they use the word uneducated. The, the, the arrival there. It was traced to bias, corrupt, but but uh, because they found that present uh, politicians are uh, biased, corrupt, arrogant, undemocratic, and unproductive. And in the present uh, 40 year political administration structure, because that 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 uh, uh, hallmarks are without no meritocracy, but replete with nepotism and uh, corruption. Over the last several decades, 75 years, this is what they have been enjoying. They take the upper hand and they always, uh, all the sorts of uh, sovereign voters uh, become silent onlookers. Uh, even the press, even the press. Well, I, daily, if you can see, if you watch the TV, only these 225 are shown in the TV. But the sovereign voters are just uh, vegetables. They, they, they have no voice. So this is the thing that we have to overcome. Unless we overcome this, none, none of these system changes will come, come across. That's the, that's the biggest problem. How to, in fact, because I am not a market here, but uh, some, we must find some way yeah. of... Uh, okay, okay, overcome. okay. There's some conversation in the chat box. Um, yeah. Do, do you think we can advertise and select an uh, independent candidate and then support them? Who is going to select them? No, yes. We'll have to have several people from various yes. aspects of selecting. Who but, is but, going to select them? No, no. But I'm saying if there are oh, any elects, but the executive president election, presidential election, you find more independent candidates than party candidates. There are several. Independent candidates are more than the party candidates. Any, you look at uh, any nomination this uh, presidential election. But, but those candidates are decoys, aren't they? Usually. No, 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 no,
nothing can be 100% perfect. Decoy will also be there. But people will have to, that's why I am saying the media should, uh, you know, guide the people, guide the people to say that these are the uh, real people. These are what they call uh, real, energetic, and who, who will do something for the country. So we have to, uh, we have to analyze and see. And led by the media, media can do wonders. This is the media. Okay. I am highly responsible for this kind of things. But this inverted situation where Tari Moti is down and the politician is on the top, which, which is, they are only our representatives. This okay, just thing. a minute. Lakshman has raised a hand. Don't move away from the title because otherwise you get yeah. complex. Sir. Sure, Lakshman, sure. Yes. Thank you, Chula. It's slightly different kind of uh, proposal. Uh, even if you choose an independent candidate and support him or her, uh, we have experienced what happened in uh, 1994. Uh, it's not just a candidate, it's uh, Chandrika uh, Bandaranayaka were yeah. pledged to change the constitution, I mean the presidency, do away with the presidency. It didn't yeah. happen, right? So yeah. even if you select an independent candidate, there's no guarantee that he or she will do this, right? Okay, now my suggestion is... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, can't we develop a public manifesto uh, <clears throat> with all these strong points of a system change and try to you know publicize it through media uh, and and uh, social pressure groups okay we'll vote for you whoever the uh, pers person individual in the case of a presidential election and the party uh, for the parliamentary election uh, That's uh, correct because we are already developing this. We've already yeah. had some yeah. suggestions for ideal manifestos. And this is one thing that we can do for the presidential manifesto with an action plan. This is what we want. Independent can, uh, candidate can do that and then try to pop. But we need to agree as to what we want. So, yes, that's a little bit of progress. We can, we can, we can do that. We have started doing it. Uh, Lakshman, so I will keep you in touch. Yes. Lakshman. Yeah. Otherwise, otherwise, what will happen is we have been public has been taken on a right by all these uh, people throughout the last. Yeah, yeah. The, the media will take you for a right because they are funded by this so-called elite group in the in behind. Okay, they don't have a side. They have only side is whether they can get their things done to for their advantage. That's the only side they have. So whoever the, that's what I was trying to say, these glorified names come and then they try to do what they wanted. Eventually, these names get tarnished and all the names that are there has been tarnished. The reason is they've been used by these people behind. So it's there's no innovator in innovation in the leader himself or herself, how to drive it. That is where the, we have stuck, got stuck. So anyway, so we got some opening there. Yes, shall we go to the next slide then? I agree, yes. Now, uh, I'm proud of, yes, that's right. Yes, my like, next one is corresponding election, electoral system changes are vital to keep step with the change in times. Now we are looking at another paradigm. Change in times, times are changing without time is only constant. I mean, change is only constant. And then with the needs of the new generation and youth, it didn't happen. That's why the Aragal has started with their desperate concern for genuine free and fair elections. That guarantee equality of vote, two things, and the quality of the individuals who should represent. Where, where are you reading from? 1.4 or 1.3? 1.5. Uh, 1.4, I can. That is a, yes. not a. Oh, oh, one, one. Okay. So 1.4, let's read at least briefly 1.4. Uh, 1.4, yes. So One systemic changes in political yes. and civil administration systems are inevitable in any vibrant and progressive democracy. That's fine. That's right. Okay. So that is because if we want to be a vibrant role, these things are inevitable. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, okay, okay that, fine. That a, yeah, okay. Uh, so if we become a proper democracy, that okay. will happen. Right. But we are yes. a flawed one at the moment, isn't it? That's right. Flawed one, yes. Okay. Then one point five, uh, but I said just now, equality of vote and quality of union, these are basic. These are fundamentals of electoral system, which is not happening in our electoral system. There is no equality of vote. There is no quality of individual. This is why we are suffering. This is what, what has happened over the 75 years. That's why they have, the poor quality individuals are taking over us and they are sitting on us. Okay, so in relation so to this I, equality I, I, of I, vote. I, yeah, I go, okay. you, Equal equality vote, of we, have, we have discussed before this one. Right, but yes. in summary, 
if yeah. I mention what you mentioned about equality of vote, certain yeah. votes get deleted, isn't it? Uh, if you don't get more than 5% or something, yeah, they yeah, get yeah. discarded. Yeah, All the votes that were given to that particular person is discarded. Yeah. That's number one of the things that stops the equality because yes. even when you are voted, some of the votes get discarded because that particular candidate did not get 5%. Is that correct? That's right. That's, That's right. number one. Okay. Yeah. Number yeah. two, number two is we've discussed this, the bonus seats. Okay. The right. bonus seats yeah. depletes the opposition, right? right? Bonus seats actually in a weird way, what they're doing is the number of votes and the seats that's available that should be available to the opposition is depleted because yeah. you give bonus to the winning party. So, party it separates, so it separates the difference between the even if they're equal, almost equal, by the time you get your seats, you will yeah. be widely apart because of the bonus seat system. So my question is, can yeah. you or can we get yeah. election commission uh, to not to use the bonus system that's uh, uh, um, i was saying that's why that's we are having the, this meeting with the nac to find out whether they can correct these are procedural matters no now see some of these things can be done by changing the procedure so equality of vote uh, if we if other, 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 other third one is this determining the number of seats based on registered voters by the election commission yeah that's the one uh, so so these are yeah. three things that we can yes, all have the commission to do. If simulations were done, actually, I must mention about Dr. Rana also, he's the one who helped me to get the simulations done on how this uh, election result changes with these three uh, reasons that you mentioned just now. Uh, that is, equality, uh, equality of vote has changed due to uh, 22 bonuses, due to uh, uh, registered voters being taken into account and NEC designed the num deciding the number of uh, seats in a particular district. Uh, that is that has also led to this inequality of vote. So be simple and the, the change they had to do is so, very so simple. That's, so that's a good opening. So if I summarize, yeah. okay, three things. Yeah. One is bonus calculation should not be done. That's number yeah. one. That yeah. is then you become equality of vote, okay? Number yes. two is don't delete people's votes that's been cast. That's right. That's number two. And then the number three is that the voters who are not registered should not be counted. Only the yeah. votes that have been cast. Yeah, yeah. In, in other words, NEC should stop predetermining the number of seats for a district. It must be based on valid vote because we are in a total country uh, voting uh, for a general election. So it is the valid vote that counts, not the predetermined number of seats. Because of that, I, I quote an example. Now, uh, the EPDP, quote an example, EPDP with 64,000 votes got two seats in the parliament because of this. Yeah, yeah that's, that's because, uh, remember, there was one time where... North, North was stopped mm. from voting. So if no, they don't I, vote, they don't get any MPs. That should be the equation, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, no, no, no. What I'm saying is because of the pre they predetermined the number of seats to Mulatiu, I think, uh, of some five seats. Because then the EPDP getting a low number of votes at 64,000 got a seat, but because they were entitled to two seats in the Mulatu district, five, five seats already in NEC has allocated, based on registered voters. So that's the, another thing the election know, commission can look at. Isn't yeah, it? This, is, this is what the election commission has because to Because they can, they can allocate the number of seats based on the number of votes the, oh, that was yes. cast. Yes. So the, I, I, the simple, uh, uh, simple remedy is they have to forget about bonus seats. They have to forget about 5% vote. They have to forget about uh, this predetermination of seats. Then a total number of seat allocation is based on national vote percentage of the party concerned. National vote percentage based on that. Very easy to uh, distribute the seats. That so, is so, so we have four things that we can ask from the election commission to do, isn't yeah. it? Yes, yes. Okay, so... It's one thing that the election commission should be able to handle in my view. Yeah, but we should clearly write it without actually yeah. watching yeah, 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 exactly what you want done so that yeah, yeah, you can also yeah. say how it 
Okay. Yeah, so, I have given the methodology. I have given the methodology in various press articles. No, no, See? there's no point giving methodology. You have to write it there and then right. very yeah. simple terms and then get it done. Yeah, anyway, yeah. I'll come back to you to get the methodology. There, yeah. so we got some opening there. Can yes. we move to 1.6 if there's no Six, more questions yeah, yeah. on 1.5? Yeah, 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 Lakshman yes. has raised their hand. Lakshman, yes. Yeah. Oh, Udita came before me. Udita, sorry, I missed you there. I'm... Yes, Udita, you are there. Sorry, I missed you, Udita. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, I joined the discussion a bit uh, late. But uh, on the issue of bonus seats, you need to understand why the bonus seats are there. Bonus seats are there to make the make the uh, governance easy for the because if if a party uh, winning party has got eleven uh, members. Members and the losing party has got I think you are breaking up with yeah. Yeah. So with the Sri Lanka and corrupt system. We can't yeah. hear you well. That's breaking up, uh, Udita. Uh, I, yes. Parliamentarians or provincial councils could be bought by the other party. Uh, unless you have got a decent majority, they won't they won't be a they won't, the bonus system is there to make sure working majority uh, yeah yeah but the bonus system at the same time all right sorry makes a democracy okay, carry, 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 autocratic I'll, I'll question yes Lakshman, yes. yes carry on Lakshman, yeah. yes Lakshman. thank you thank you chula uh, now uh, there's a little bit of confusion now we are mixing up two things one is the change suggested changes to the electoral system which has to go yeah. through the parliament, I suppose, because election commission alone, uh, I don't think have the power to do that. Once you, uh, once it goes to the parliament, uh, the risk is there. What Ranjan uh, pointed out, uh, based on this, they might try to postpone the elections, right? So that is one thing. The other one is, uh, uh, so, so uh, we should not aim anything at this moment uh, towards uh, that kind of thing which can lead to a possible possible amount of the elections. Uh, okay. What we can do is uh, develop a public manifesto, use, if not conventional media, but other public media. There are so many media uh, present day. And uh, to, to, to uh, uh, put the pressure on this, uh, uh, develop this uh, public manifesto. Yes. Yeah, so, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, so there is a controversy about this bonus seat issue, but I think in a way what bonus seat does is it depletes the opposition. Then there is no democracy. Basically, it becomes autocratic. Yes, now, yes. Can I just uh, intervene here? But, no, that is, this is why this, I am calling these are out of the box for the present system. The present system is now, as we know, it has so many uh, uh, pitfalls and uh, undefined. So, and, and the thinking, the culture of the politicians, that this is why this majority concept is the signal post concept. That is, number of people going up, going up uh, hands going up will determine the, whether it is true or not. This is what we want. We don't want corrupt and confrontational politicians in the parliament. We need clean and consensual politics in the parliament. Because they don't, though they sit on either side of the divide, but they must ultimately finally they must be number one. They should be country first politicians. We need that the culture that the Karagale wanted. We need country first politicians who will not just by the race of fans that they will determine. This is the from I think Westminster style thing which came in good in good spirit. But here it is used in bad spirit to do all things that that that, that what, what the people don't want, but the politicians only prefer. And this is this we had to get away from that. They always put this because of stability. We want stability. Political that we don't want stability. We want the truth to happen. But this first uh, country first things to happen. But we don't want that this party to win then and that party to win. We want, but the country should go forward with the uh, country first principles. 
That is why I am saying that profession also come to this uh, parliament 220 years. We have failed for 25 years now. Now, now there is no alternative. We have to test this. The, if we test this once, it will happen in future. That, that's happening in uh, Singapore, Malaysia and all that. All the professionals who are there in the parliament, because they are paid so well, they must, they must be there. Uh, they must do a policy job. So, okay, Jeevan, uh, shall we? We are moving away a little bit from the focus. Jeevan, yeah. and, yes, Jeevan. And... Uh, thanks, Jula. Uh, sorry, Bernard, I am going back a couple of slides. Sure. Could you please, could you please explain yeah. what are the changes that Electoral Commission can do without parliamentary approval? <laughs> right. Jula. Thank you very much. I think that Professor Jula will make this, but we are going to do with the, the, our discussion with the Election working, Commission. But it's, uh, but, uh, it's whatever we can here. Yes, to find for sure what they can do. As he, in an ASIS situation, in the present situation, but there are changes that they can do. So anyway, yeah. in relation to that, we will, after this discussion, draft a, draft yeah. a, a letter to the uh, to, uh, election commissioner. And then while circulated, getting people to uh, uh, add or edit or whatever, make it short and then actually ask for a meeting. So all or most of you will be able to join at least by person or by by um, zoom if they give us a chance let's yeah. try it we, we should try it yeah yeah exactly sorry, you wanna, you sorry Chula, maybe maybe i should have clarified my question a little bit further sure. so uh, bernard you know i uh, reviewed your proposal you know uh, it's very it's a tremendous improvement from the existing system so yes. precise, my question is, mm -hmm. are there changes based on your knowledge about, you know, our legal, uh, the um, parliamentary system? Yeah. How many of your proposals can be implemented solely by the electoral commission without the parliamentary approval? Yes, of course, I'm not an uh, expert on uh, law and or constitutional law, mm -hmm. but I feel as a voter, as a sovereign voter, that uh, uh, NEC should be able to change this uh, predetermination of seats. Uh, this yeah, in the uh, can I can I intervene there? Yeah. Uh, I believe that uh, election commissioner has invited uh, Bernard wants to explain the changes that he is proposing in the yeah. publication. So it seems like there is a little interest from their side point of view, and something may be implementable. I don't know. But yeah. we have to go to them and find out because the election commission is the one who knows, you know, how to work within the legal system, right? Achieve yeah. changes as well. If they yeah. can't do any changes in the election system, why should we have an election commission? Yes. Yeah. For a start, yeah. we don't need that. Uh, yeah. But then they, I mean, I thought, you know, they can recommend the, send their recommendations to the parliament and then parliament is the one who should implement them. No. Yeah. Yeah, that is in a democracy, but we are in a flawed democracy. It doesn't happen. <laughs> that is the problem. Yeah, right. Yes. No, no, no. If I were to say this now, constitution itself says it guarantees equality of ballot. They say that is the word they use in the constitution, in section 93, article number 90, it says it ensure equality of ballot. But they yeah. are going so, against that. So this is one is point which we can prove where equality of ballot is not there. Yeah, then the election system, commission may have to do something. Yeah, the constitution other provisions yeah. go against that. Okay, so yeah. there is a there is an opening for that. That's good. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Okay, shall we move to the next one? You think? Yeah, sure. yeah. Sri Lanka. Uh, no, then I say one six integrate Sri Lankan. I think uh, Mr. Ranjan Disil has been saying uh, all the time that we we, we the Sri Lankan is, is very important for us to go forward. So there are several uh, uh, pro uh, proposals that uh, touch on Sri Lankanness. So integrate Sri Lankanness to our electoral political admission system that will boost the national reconciliation efforts. I'll come to that. Uh, that is the statement I'm making. Uh, I'll show the where the, the Sri Lankanness will coming in the proposals. Okay, okay, uh, we'll do that. Uh, yeah. Anything? Any can questions? I add a little to that? Yeah, yes. he's going to explain it later, I believe. Yeah, that's right. I'm just saying that the entire political system, we must integrate it with Sri Lankanness. I'll come up with the uh, specifics. In the okay, next right. slide. okay, let's go yeah. to the next slide then. Yes. Now, these are the aspirations of principal stakeholders. Now, this is what the stakeholders need. They want 
to rationalize top and bottom tiers of the existing four-tier political administration structure. Rationalize. This rationalization, I'll come to that later. Now, these are the areas. Refine electoral system to cater to the new political, because electoral system is a, a follow up for the political administration structure. No, based on political administration structure only, you have elections. So, they have to have the elections based on the political administration, whether it is executive presidency or independent presidency or uh, no local government or default style local government. Under that, only the electoral system will, will cater to that. Number two, that's what they, they want. The, uh, Political administration subject should be followed by political uh, electoral system to match that. Okay. Then number three, to re-engineer and rationalize public service. These are general things that people are wanting. Re-engineer and rationalize public service and administrative structure. Then infuse appropriate work ethics, discipline, technology, and method, method, methods for productivity enhancement of the entire workforce in the country. Reform biased and unfocused media culture. That's an important area. Instill continuous attitude among the human capital involved in the above areas plus schools and uni universities. So having said that, I am saying the scope of this presentation is confined to only 2, 1 and 2, 2, plus 2 only. Other things I am just begging for sake of good order, I have mentioned. Anything? Okay. Can I go forward? Yeah, yeah. No, no, nobody raised the hand. Yeah. Just, just to say that I mean, in, in passing, I have been saying that 2016 Lal Vijanaka, uh, Priya, then Legal Experts Committee, that is uh, Gota Best Time, Parliament Select Committee, then they've had, I uh, sent my proposal, Chairman NEC, Commission General Election, Pepsal, I have sent my proposals, uh, as you can see, then the last one was uh, number eight. President, this is the present one, President of the to inquire and recommend reforms to election law. They sent an act on All these people sent an act on it, nothing. Uh, so, so, so this is what has happened. Uh, so anyway, nobody knew. Uh, the press is also not interested. I mean, our country has a, that entire total people culture is also like that. They just, uh, whatever that is there, they go with that. Go with that. The, okay, the next one. Uh, and yeah, as, so uh, you as, be disappointed <laughs> about that because the fact that there are so many people interested in what you're saying, it's a positive uh, thing. So we yeah, are listening to you. Yeah, thank you. Then uh, this, as I just just to to the point, uh, uh, evidence that in 1997 only I wrote about this alternate system for uh, local government elections. That that at that time I used my name as J B B Fernando B for Bernard. <laughs> yes. Okay. Go for go for. Yeah, next one. yeah, yeah, yeah. Next one. Uh, now the system changes to political admissions because I think political admission system must be first in place to, for, for the electoral system to uh, follow suit. Okay, now for number one, I think in my previous presentations, I can remember Professor Tula that I couldn't go ahead with this local government uh, changes. So uh, that's why I put local government, uh, I don't know whether it is uh, particularly important right now. If you decide for me to go through, I can do that, but I can skip. Uh, shall we leave the local government for the minute? Yeah, because yeah, actually that's the time being. Yes, I Nirmalan understand. has raised his hand. Let's ask what he wants to say. Yeah. Nirmalan, yes. Yes. Nirmalan, I think you are muted. Okay, Bernard. So, oh, sorry to keep interrupting you like this, but you're doing... No, 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 no. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're doing a pretty good job. Uh, and um, now, if you can put your mind to uh, yes. all that you have said, and if you can tell me, now, is is there is there, is there there one particular thing? I think you said something like this somewhere along the way. There's one particular thing that we can do, yes. which will then set in motion all the others. Mm -hmm. Can you identify one particular thing that if we do, will sort of set in motion all the others, or at least create the potential for those things to move. Yes. I one, one of the main thing is the media. Media should respond. It is the media that, uh, you know, uh, shapes the people's uh, thinking in this country. The media no, can but, do it. But Bernard, Bernard, so media, I have, I have been involved with the media in a different way when they were criticizing me some years ago. You cannot, however right you are, you cannot change the mindset of the media. They will try to screw, screw you in whether you are right or wrong, whatever. Right. That's, that's how it works. Yeah. But yeah. but if the masses are coming towards you, when they feel like there are lots of people following what you're saying or trying to support what you're saying, then the media will start chasing you. 
You see, so, so that's I how it works yeah. in Sri Lanka. So because they are funded by different people, so those people who are funding will see a point. Okay, if we get this man, can we kind of get what we want done? Kind of thing. You see what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, but but uh, there's something. You said something about. You have been saying it again and again yes. about equality of vote. Yes. Right. Now, from listening to you, it's, I get the feeling that you think that the fundamental problem is we don't have this equality of vote for a number of people. Corrupt and unproductive entities okay. to ensure fair and uncorrupt service for the people. So, so is, is there anything that we can do to make this equality of vote a reality? Just that one thing. Yeah. If that's what I'm saying, is NEC that can do something for the because they are the people who uh, know that the registered voters, they have the, all the list, all the data they are having. And they are the people who determine the number of, predetermine the number of seats to the like, districts also. So it is NEC as, as the main uh, handle for this whole thing. Right. And you so also NEC is you the know. National Election Commission, right? Yeah, yeah, commission. Yeah, yeah, that's an independent commission. That's a so, very uh, powerful. You have also commission. addressed them before, I believe, from what you were saying. Sorry, come again, please. Um, you, uh, I, I, I gather from what you have been saying, I seem to have got the impression that you have, in fact, addressed them before. Yes, sure. Right. So when I presume when you address them, you took up this question of um, equality of vote and what did they say about it? The equality of vote. Yes. was he said they've yeah. asked them to come with a group rather than individually. I think is so that let's right? Give him, so let's give him a group now and push it forward then, uh, Chula. Yeah, that's one way to do it. Yes, Bernard. Yeah. But it's yeah. no, no, it's, it's sure, sure. I think we, now I also sent a draft letter for the election commission to ask him for an appointment. They have a public day on Wednesdays. No, I yeah. think Professor Jula, my, my, I sent it. To no, you. no, yeah, yeah. So I'm going yeah. to what yeah. I'm going to do is to draft the kind of the way I like is very simple the letter that will explain it easily. Okay, that's what I will do. Yeah. Yeah, and then sure. present more detail when you go there if you get an appointment. That's and right. I will circulate the draft letter to everyone, sure. seeing who will be happy to at least put their right. name. Or we can put it as a forum and send it. But yeah. it's better if you put a few names there as well. I don't know. Uh, so only thing is whatever the names that we put, that we, we, sh we should be wearing one cap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is what the letter is about. We, uh, yeah, it is letter. about it. Yeah. We are sending certain agreed things uh, agreed to, things, to them. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that's good, Bernard. Yeah, go forward. Yeah. So, uh, 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 but this one, shall we, LG, LG tier, I'm saying depoliticize the LG tier and rationalize the political structure. We don't, like, the, actually, LG tier is uh, totally corrupt because of this politicization. They are, they are, they are very, very, what do you call, corrupt bribe taking and they do they only serve their purpose and that's all and the party machinery they don't serve the people for the last several years we must and he told this gamaraja concept is the best ordinary that's what i said 1997 i wrote that to follow this gamaraja concept for okay that, that we will leave for the moment yeah, that we will leave for the moment fine yeah let's yeah. go to the next slide yeah 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 because i said danasabas uh, there there's something coming up which a mission is that will lead to people-based governance LG election methodology also I have given. Let's pass that. Okay. Entire thing is given. The entire election. So then, 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 you know, I think the similar method could be other public. Okay. Ah, I'm saying next one is objectively strengthened. No, no, sorry. There, there is another other one. Options. Yes. The representative to get okay six number. Uh, you have this option one. Ah, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, go, go back, go back. Four point one. Yes. That's a yes. Four point one. No, that is the four point one. You're there. Three. You're pressing too many buttons. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Open to option one, right? Yeah. That is about the uh, replacement of uh, hybrid uh, 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 evolution of uh, which I we spoke, no. What I'm saying is high, uh, replacement by a hybrid governor general to be elected by the uh, parliament and the PC members, provincial, uh, and he will in turn 
become an executive president means he will execute, implement. He is going to implement the president, executive president. So he is a hybrid Gandhi general because he will have the normal uh, ceremonial duties, uh, uh, what you call uh, entertaining the uh, uh, ambassadors and those kind of things, yeah, and the uh, 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 commander in chief, commander in chief. In addition to that, he will do only this. This is option, uh, option one. Option two only, I said, people to elect an executive president as a non partisan statement without dictatorial powers, subject to judicial review. If these two th things are there, I think people will be a little happier, happier than this kind present executive president type. A robust set of minimum eligibility criteria and other conditions, including reasonably high cash deposit requirements to be mandated. Otherwise, hundreds of people will come as independent candidates to as act as a deterrent. Uh, we will have that's what I thought the cash deposit requirement if it's kept at a higher level, there'll be you know people only real people who matter will contest. Anything any check on that? Uh, that is. That is what we can do the alternative at the moment because uh, as you say, no, thing is all are saying there's no time. Even the politicians are saying, even we as voters are all saying there's no time. I mean, this has become some kind of a <laughs> culture. No, so, no, no. Yes. So, 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 so now, now option one and option two. Now, if you pro if you are proposing as we discuss an independent candidate, okay, through yeah. scrutiny or whatever. And then, why can't that particular person can abolish the executive presidency yes. and become the temporary well, governor general? That is his number one uh, request on the voters. He is coming to replace it with a hybrid governor general. He has to, he's an independent, no, he's an independent person, only can do that kind of thing. He has nothing to lose, no. Independent okay, candidates. I think, can okay, we'll ask from the election commission about that so as well. Yeah. Yeah. All right, okay. If you get a chance, yeah. Anything else from there? Okay, let's go to the other slide then. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's a small part uh, in the cabinet also to follow the national vote percentage system so that cabinet members will be elected from the national vote percentages. As we get, so that's uh, that's uh, basically uh, executing the proportional system. Exactly, exactly. So uh, nobody can contest that because if the vote is equal. So vote percent, whatever the votes you have got, accordingly you are getting a place in. But, but basically, you will need that only if you are giving, say, hundred and ten ministerial posts, isn't it? But if you are giving only ten. No, no, no. Now, now it is thirty, forty. No, thirty, thirty. Presently, it is thirty. That is the constitution. Yeah, but voice. then there are so many other so-called whatever ministers who are getting. No, that is deputy, 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 and state minister. That is forty. But that is constitution says. Including yeah. the state ministers. Yeah, 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 yeah. There are non-cabinet and all that. So, but this is the whole thing. Like we are thinking and we are forcing things in the present context. But we must force the out of the box. When it is out of the box, when okay. good parliamentarians come, then, then it's a different story altogether. Okay. So, so, yeah, so provincial up. councils also you have taken up. But yeah, that is the important devolution of work yes, and yes. interests and everything else. Yes, because... Yes. Different areas have different interests, isn't it? So, yeah. different because problems no, as well. It has been internationalized. No, there's no point in trying to remove the ways and all. We must do away with provincial We have to work presently. Provincial councils have been there since 1988, 40 years almost. So, we can't just do away with that. We must only strengthen the white telephone and make it a black telephone. Okay, all right. Okay. Yeah. We don't know yet. We, we haven't ex explored exactly <laughs> sure, the powers yeah, yeah. of the provincial yeah. council. Sure. Yeah. These seem out of the box when, when you think in the present context. Okay, so provincial council issue shall we discuss separately? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is not, nothing but, but only thing they have to have provincial council elections and then elect the people and under this new system. Again, the same, this, this model can be applied to any election. Provincial council, so if, if we want to have LDL election, which I'm against, uh, under any system, this can be applied, this arithmetic coin, everything can be applied uh, 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 like a blanket thing across the board. Okay. So I put the other one. Is the council, yeah, in the chat and... box, there are a couple of mentions about uh, declaration of assets and so on. Uh, I'll come to that. All, all there, yes. All but are there. but that there. is, of course, um, 
I mean, even you can't get the taxes at the moment. Apparently, yeah. with with all these issues, yeah. Yeah, nobody's yeah. paying taxes anymore. Even despite all the all these rules and regulations, so there's a big issue with taxing and what is collected yeah. and who pays it. So yeah. that is a different thing, I think, to that's talk. That's about. Yeah, yeah. So, yes. but, but again, politicians must be required to declare the assets. That's what it has been. They have hanging fire for a long time. Now, though they say, even now, I think it is there, but it's observed on the beach. Yes. Because there's no muscle in it, isn't it, in that room? Yeah, yeah. yeah that, even if you don't declare, still you become the president or the prime minister or whatever. <laughs> right there, that's the thing. No law and order, but the law and disobey law and order. Okay. In sure, I think uh, this is now electoral system. These are the changes that I'm proposing. By, uh, I spoke about it. Universal and equal sovereignty. This is UN universal. It's a world global declaration, and we are signed for this. So we are. It is by. So, so that is the strength when you are yeah. speaking to yeah. election commission, right. saying yeah. that we have signed for this, and why are they executing the border states? Yeah, yeah. They, I, I'll, I'll give you the answer to that. They will say uh, there are several other countries doing the wrong thing. But <laughs> if we have signed something, something, yeah, now, several countries have signed. Even Dr. Rana, Rana told me that uh, even US, they don't follow this. Uh, so, so that doesn't mean that we should we should do the wrong thing. We must do the correct thing. We, we are a country uh, because of the inequality of vote, we are suffering. You no, know, we are having different, different other problems, you no, know, ethnic problem, conflict, and all that. So we have to ensure, show to the people that. Uh, Vote is equal all over the country, whether uh, south, west, uh, north or east. Vote should be equal. But then only uh, you can go in. Equality of, uh, they say uh, suffrage, equal suffrage. UN yeah. declared. Okay, so that's a good reference yeah. to do about human rights. Yeah. Yeah. Then, uh, we, uh, then, then to go, go with that, we have to abolish mixed voting system that was tested only in 2018. After that, not tested, so we have to abolish. But I'll give, uh, after abolishing the, each, the objectives of the MAB system can be achieved very simply under now, this set of proposals, now, which I, yes. Okay, I've got a question. Now, mixed voting yeah. system, if this was tested in 2018, yes. was it done with parliamentary approval and who abolished yes, it? Yes, 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 yes. It was, it was, it was part of it. There was an act. 2017 and act was passed to implement the MMB system. Abolition, how, how did they abolish again through the parliament? Yeah, yeah, abolition has to go through parliament. Yeah, you have paper and voting system. I think all these things are already in the constitution in one way or other. No? So we, uh, those things need, need to be abolished. Then, then only the new one take, can take over. That's why these are out of the box changes that we have to do. Otherwise, we are going to fail. Otherwise, if we want to prevail in the present system, then we will we'll go like this. That's all. <laughs> no, no, there has to be some yeah. opening to do something yeah. anyway. So we are working. No, if somebody is really, really interested in countries for progress, then they, they, such people should come forward. And if you are part of Yeah, okay. So I yeah. have a question at the end of your presentation. Anyway, I'll ask there. Yeah, yeah. Require parties to enter their district nominee. Now, this is the solution to this uh, FPP uh, uh, performance who asked for a member uh, member for each electorate. This points the answer. Without any problem, we can do that. But the thing is, uh, parties to re uh, re require parties to election the commission should require parties to enter their district nominees in merit order. And or without electorate and or without electorate level sublist. That may, uh, do you get what I'm saying? I don't know. Do you uh, now presently there's a district uh, district no district level uh, seats are given no, at district level. They announce uh, district district members of parliament. They are called district members, not electorate electorate members of parliament. Asana anyone may ne dang in a district parliament to mantri idea. So, but I, I'm, I'm saying it should come in merit order. I will tell you why, but the, what is the advantage behind that? Because we are, we are handing over the what, election or selection, nomination of candidates also to a, a, a properly uh, uh, formulated me mechanism, methodology that is already practiced in the private sector or any institutional sector. Yeah, okay, Bernard, but yes. which yeah. do, you, do you think? There isn't yeah. a single party leader, political party leader, want yeah. to give away their capability or 
or power they have to select their candidates for every district. That's happening, isn't it? So none of the parties, none of the political parties, they're saying we are democratic, they are not democratic, right? Yeah. Is that right? So how are yeah. we going to get no, the... No, no, that is my, my fear. My fear, that's what I say. NEC should declare these are the requirements. Like in any other company, any institution, they say these are the... They advertise, these are the eligibility criteria, you apply, and then we hold the interview, and then so, we select so the on the On this equality of vote or equal suffrage, yes. Uh, can we can we request that from the election commission, for example? Both this, both 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 this. These are two fundamental things. Of equal suffrage. Now we discuss. We have to say that proportional representation, clean proportional representation, based on uh, national party vote percentage. We have to allocate seats. That is the equality of suffrage is ensured by that. If we do that, that is guaranteed. No problem with that. Then if we do this, also we are getting all the representative democracy, uh, uh, mockery, mockery of a representative democracy that we are having now. Uh, to remove that, we must have professionals coming into the picture, not, not by party leader selection, but by application, interview, and marks, given marks, structured interview, and based on that, we, uh, we prepare the merit list. And that merit list, I, I, I can explain that data I, uh, I, uh, in detail if you want. Uh, but no, no, because they have far achievements, isn't it? Because we have a major issue now where the uh, ship is sinking. We are trying to avoid that yeah, and no, then but, try to find a rescue pathway. So, no, no, but this is the major issue. But uh, this is because of the people who are in the parliament, the quality of the people are so poor. That's why this whole thing is not coming through. Because they, they have their different, they have their different cultures. They are not going to give up all that. The present set of politicians are fully corrupt, biased, and they are only party oriented. The country first is the class. For them, country is last. Party first is self, second is party, the third country last. This is the attitude. This attitude is very difficult to change in this present fellow. You must get a new set of people. How to select the beta people? We must have proper way of mechanisms. Management styles, we must adapt the correct selection styles, personal management theories. Yeah, okay. So, okay. So, uh, and, uh, uh, yeah, so then uh, to get over this FPP thing, uh, this can be got over by simply if they, uh, the district uh, leadership should call for applications from the district area, people who are in the district, who, who are not, not parachuted people, not parachuted people who are residing in the district for more than five years. That also, the election commission must say, state that they can do that. Uh, they might at least five years. That is in the preferral uh, criteria also. And they uh, interview people who are in the minimum qualifications. The interview system also have given, even the marking system also have given. And anybody can take that. And uh, under that, they, uh, five, five, five people must be there in the interview panel from the uh, district election people. Leader, leader has nothing to do with this. Leaders must be, uh, the, the system must be like that. Their constitutions must be changed. But Hang on. Now that system change will come from parliament or election commission? Election commission, I think, can do this. Ah, okay, okay. okay. that's a good one. Okay. Yeah. That's a good one we can request yeah. from them. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So when that is done, then uh, people who support uh, district system, MP system, they have to uh, arrange the nomination list according to merit order, district, <laughs> district wise. So um, within the district, you get uh, now the Colombo district. We get we get fifteen seats in in the Colombo district. We get fifth asana. Then Thunder Padipala did not asana kramet. Then he asana pahala what pino. He to go to he go to the end. Then he asana pahala with a merit list. Then he did not have that door. Asana pahala. Those are sub list district list. Then he cut down. We break down to fifteen seats. Fifteen electors. He to go to a a fifteen electors. Then he did not have Merit list take that down. Abhi to the hi wale merit. That's that's pure meritocracy. That's pure meritocracy that we yeah. yeah. actually yeah. discussed earlier. But if yeah. that happens, all this problem about this bonus seat is not required because no, people no, 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 decide is, what they want. No bonus seat is a technical matter to equalize the vote. That is quality of vote. This is quality of uh, now we are discussing now quality of the people who are going to sit in the 225 seats. Uh, so that is why this is now equality of vote is over. That is a uh, 
But this is uh, what you call it, personal personalized thing. No, now we are going to select the best individuals as our representatives who will sit in the parliament. All these corrupt people are there because of that, no? So we have to take away this, uh, uh, uproot this whole system. As okay. Jivananda has raised the hand. Jivananda, yes. So, so Bernard, you said that, you know, this uh, interview system, implementation of uh, interview system for the candidates. Interview, interview system. Yeah, can, can be implemented by right. the election commission without the parliament approval. Is it correct? That, that of course, I am not, uh, I'm not sure. No, no, no. I, I feel that uh, it is the duty of the NEC to ensure the equality of vote and to, uh, he must go to the parliament also. At least it is, he should take this up and recommend. Uh, no, 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 no. Not, I am not asking about the equality of the vote. Yeah, I am talking I'm about the. Plus, sorry, I am. Yeah, I am asking about the selection of quality candidates. Of, quality of individuals, yes. This Correct. Is, this is, is, it, is it within the is it within the uh, 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 electoral uh, commission? I uh, yes. I, I seriously I doubt. I seriously uh, yeah. doubt. I don't think it's practical because you. I mean, uh, for example, let's say now Mahindra. Yeah. Sorry to bring about bring yeah. names, but oh. this is the reality. Yeah. Now Mahindra Rajapaksa has been indicted by the Supreme Court as responsible for the breakdown of the economic system. Now the can if the electoral commission says Mahindra Rajapaksa cannot uh, contest in the coming election, what oh. will be the uh, situation in the country? It, there, there will be you know no. complete upheaval no, within no, the no. Uh, no. population. No, why why Mahindra Rajapaksa was not given a third side? He had to go after two years. That is in the constitution. So no, no, nothing, no problem. Why he he, he didn't contest third time? Second time only, that is constitution, when the constitution is very clear, nobody can go, go. I mean, look, there are instances, I agree, but certain fundamentals, they can't go, change. Fundamentals, they can't yeah, change. Yeah. So, so there is, I mean, if you take historically, I think uh, during Ranali Prabhupada's time, the Mahindra Rajapaksa parachuted in as a prime minister and lo got lost, isn't it? There was the issues, remember that. Uh, Again, uh, using the same kind of tactics, he that's said he is the prime right. minister, but it didn't work. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That, exactly. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah, that's a very good example. That's a very yeah. good example. Yeah, the judiciary gave the correct verdict. Yeah, yeah. So, so there is an opening. If you, if you follow yeah. the rules, there is an opening. Now, you're yeah. talking about this eligibility criteria. Right. Yeah, now, basically, right. if you are 18 years old, you can't go there, right? Okay. So, yeah, likewise, yeah, yeah. there are some eligibility criteria yeah. that is checked from the applicants, okay? Right. Number two, people who have been in the parliament has never declared their asset. Can they apply? Right. No, no. no they have to declare assets, yes. So I, if they I, haven't, I okay, for the, for the last I, five times in the parliament, they've never declared their assets. Now, right. can, they, can they come under this eligibility criteria then? No, the no. The no. commission should be able to do that. Exactly. Now, no, no, this is my, this, uh, what I'm thinking, we always try to say, this, uh, we think in terms of the present. We have to think in terms of the future. They are the change of culture. That's why this is out of, out of the box. We, anybody, independent person, must look at the proposals and say, ah, here, this is a change from the present system. This change, uh, without the system change, we, we can't go, go forward. Unless we put this forward, that's why I, I saw in one newspaper, a uh, national newspaper saying that uh, though everybody is talking about system changes, nobody has come out with system changes. <laughs> so I wrote an article saying that I have written system changes from 2016 onwards and nobody has listened and they have not done anything because of, because of the present corrupt culture, political culture and media. Yeah, and that is true because <laughs> we also proposed system changes at that time. Nobody published yeah. anything. No, they were frightened. Right. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. this is a, but we have to go on telling this. Otherwise, uh, I mean, we can't just sit, sit down and wait uh, uh, for them to take the upper hand. Okay, so let's go for the next one. Five point four. Have you got a five point four? Yeah, I will. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Five point four. Our time is. Uh, we got yeah, right. half an hour yeah, more. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Can you read the ensure? Yeah, that's right. Uh, that is about the women and youth participation to ensure that. Uh, I have given the way of doing it. In the merit okay. list, in the merit list, they are getting no nomination list after the interviews and all that merit list they are preparing. So they have to ensure that among every five names in the list, 
there must be a woman uh, uh, and a youth. That is 40 percent. Among uh, that 20 plus 20, 40 percent, it will ensure. How do you ensure him by giving special marks? Moment a woman walks into the into uh, table, you give the special marks to her without any batting, batting an eyelid. Even a youth below that specific age, we have to qualify with the specific age, 30 or 35. And uh, they are straight away, they, we must give. Then only they can go up the ladder, up in the list. You no, I, I think we have to work it differently because, because yeah. you are doing the same thing in a different name now. Because the bonus seats we don't want, but we are no. bonusing some people in the candidate level. That's not uh, quite right. No, no, no. That bonus yeah, seat that is not right. No. Because not, if yeah, by, instead by, we should promote more women and youth to yeah. be election candidates, that's what we need. This is for, for that only. I'm saying this. For no, that. no, that's not what. That is you are biasing the people who are coming forward. So they'll put some decoy women and youth and they'll become the uh, uh, oh, yeah. uh, people, the, yeah, the no, elected no. people. So so you are opening another racket by uh, doing uh, <laughs> No, no, that, that, no, no but, you see, we have to have the system in place you now first. I'll tell you. When we do have the system in place, then people will come to know this is the method that they are. But this this list, preliminary list has to go to the people. They must be published in the press and get the okay. Anybody can contest those uh, lists. This is only the first stage. We must have something in place you now to start, uh, uh, do. And uh, uniformity must be there for eligibility criteria and all this is uniformity entire island across the board. In. Okay, I'll I'll give you a little example out of the yeah. out of the section. University yeah. admissions, okay, for medicine, you have this little little window saying if you've been a national player or something, you get a little bit of a mark, okay? Yeah. In in the merit system. Yeah. But suddenly, when you look at the list, you will see how many are national players. Yeah. They're never seen in anywhere, but they are national players, kind of thing. So so you. People will exploit this kind of thing. That's what I'm saying. Ah, uh, no, no, there are solutions for the remedies for that. No, if, now even here, the, the, even in any institution, if people give fourth certificates, SSC or A level or whatever, they give the certificates. If it is fourth, the bank will, uh, uh, the institution will check that, and if they found then and there is given the uh, uh, departure notice, then and there, and that's why this. Uh, election petitions are there yeah. then the press can always come out with that so and so is not qualified that kind of thing and the people will be aware of this educated on the matter before they finalize or their objections are allowed for the primary list so we can minimize we can minimize the hell of a lot these okay. things can be overcome yeah then so stipulate, five point uh, five. Then stipulate yeah. transparent methodology. Uh, How do you do that? Uh, yeah, now twenty nine national lists, as uh, uh, one gentleman earlier spoke. Also, this is in place of the Senate. No, some people who are qualified more than the normal way, uh, and uh, we got and the uh, what do you call uh, multi multi ethnic uh, population ratio has to be observed. That is what the constitution says. To do that, only these twenty nine people are there. They are not at all changing the equality of vote. They are the, actually the uh, 29th selection of uh, nationalist uh, vote is the correct method of uh, apportioning uh, PR method, having PR method. That, so it won't affect at all. Only thing is they will be there uh, to improve the quality of the people, quality of the 225. For, uh, okay, so that, that I, I don't mind that. But that is will be published yeah. before the election. Yeah, exactly. No, after. Right, because, right. I mean, I know yeah, one example... Yeah. I'll tell yes. this. I know one example where during MR time, there was one person whom I knew quite well, top of the national list, yeah? Top of the national list before the election. Uh -huh. On the election, nowhere. Didn't get anything. So, <laughs> so that's how it is. No, that's, that, no, these are things. We have to enforce these things. Enforce. We have to do it. NEC has to do it. NEC should have immediately not given. They have to go to NEC and get approved or approval before being appointed to the parliament. So, so that yeah, is something you yeah. can request from the um, NEC, yeah, yeah, yeah. NEC, yes. So that's yeah, another they one. Had to, they had to do that. So uh, national that... list. Mm. Okay. Present have a pre-determined oh. pre list before election. <laughs> Only thing is present constitution allowed the defeated candidates to come. Present constitution allows that. Technically, yes. There's a 
clause. Uh, people whose name is there in the uh, preferential voting list also can, uh, allowed to uh, come as uh, national list. <laughs> Other than the national. So we had to change that. So, so you can't have two two exactly you're right you you're can't right. do that isn't it you have exactly. to have either this list or that oh, list. Oh, oh. oh they are well, these are all vested interests no even the present the constitution has clauses like this you not know, to do a piece uh, corrupt politicians so that's another one right. that you can yeah. at least ask from the national yeah. election commission right right yeah. all these things can be discussed with him Okay, so, so let's then, go for the next one. Yeah, yeah election manifesto that we are now uh, quite active on that. At yeah. the moment, yeah, I have been telling right throughout prosecutive documents subject to monitoring. We must be able to monitor that and audit mechanism and convince the voter to accept that the primary determinant for a voice vote in region because it is the here, hereafter, after this, if these uh, changes come through, uh, people will have to look only at the election uh, uh, manifesto. So, um, so they, in relation to monitoring and audit mechanism, why don't the peferal doing that? They, they are free to do that. They can always come up with that. Why not? They can do that, can't they? Yeah, yeah they are voter dedicated organizations. Because that is, yes, they must guide them. Uh, they must guide the voters how to vote. Shall we, shall we, shall we, shall we, Shall we yeah. write to Peferal if you can draft it? <laughs> I have been sending several letters. All these things, I all my articles and ask have... what kind of monitoring they have for election manifestos. <laughs> no, I don't think there's any such thing. No, the only thing is we must have the election manifesto come out with the, those requirements. Time frame, I, I gave in my draft the time frame, yeah, yeah, be, but the prosecutable, like... prosecutable <laughs> document. No, nowhere in the world is prosecutable, is it? Yeah, yeah that was, I saw that when I wrote this, it, it appeared in the press prosecutable. Even like the former, uh, what do you call, chief, uh, Mr. Mahindra Desipesi has told, this uh, prosecutable is not possible. He has said, but actually this was put as a deterrent. You know, prosecutable means take a buy when money. <laughs> prosecutable, they will be more careful in framing the election manifesto. He says a deterrent. I don't think if you go through the legal way, it will take long years to uh, go through. I mean, that. I mean, yeah. Because uh, you can be a convicted murderer and still be in the parliament. No? In present context, when we look at this new 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 fellows coming in, they won't resort to that kind of thing. These are professionals who are going to come. Maybe under the present system, if you think nothing is possible, you are right. But in the uh, proposed system, but we are proposing these things for will be minimized. I don't think even other countries with ideal uh, democracies or other things can happen. Exceptions are there always. But we can minimize it. We can approve. We can't. The five-year election manifesto. It, are we going ahead to the next one? Is it okay? Depends on the time you have. We got only yeah, yeah. 20 now, minutes left. Uh, 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 can I go to the five seven? Yeah, you Common, can. Now, this actually, this campaign limit is already uh, passed by the parliament. So, why I said it has been legalized, but merits discussion means that at the present moment, uh, every party uh, can spend 20 rupees for a, elect, uh, for a registered voter. Up to the view, uh, multiply the number of registered voters. Uh, they don't say whether it's district-wise or country-wise or electorate-wise. So we have to be very specific. That's what I said, maybe discussion. No, there are some political parties who are contesting only in 10 districts, for example. So we have to, their max expenditure limit will be 20 into that 10 districts only, voters. They, you can't apply the country-wise total to them. Then they can't be overspent. They can overspend. So that, that is the thing that I want to clarify. You follow what I'm saying? Their expenditure limit is the limit that is uh, that when you arrive, uh, when you multiply 20 by the registered voters in each district that they are contesting. This will be the hardest one to assess. Huh? This will huh? be the hardest one to assess even. But why? Because <laughs> the, the I mean, there was one prime minister's candidate around our area and people who went to support, he said, uh, somebody told me that he gets so many sacks of uh, rice and whatever material from both parties, uh -huh. their side and the opposition, every oh. day to his home. Uh -huh. Now, how do we do that? That, that expenditure uh -huh. means now 
He cooks well, all yeah. these or distributes all these and all oh, that. Oh, We're going to mention that. Yeah. Oh, that, that, that is, a, that is an, another aspect. But the main aspect is this uh, expenditure in the media, meetings, and uh, what do you call, uh, 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 what do you call this, boards, boards and uh, posters and all that, that kind of expenditure. And uh, this is also a major one that you said. But at least one kind of uh, level is fixed now. For NCAA level playing field. Okay, it okay. We'll... Only the party, party election, it is the head office that can uh, spend this money, not the district people. This, they only distribute to district people so that head office can be monitored. Head office, uh, they must uh, provide all the statements of expenditure. In other countries, it is happening, no? They have to give okay, all the expenditure. At least, at least the party had called. Something is better than nothing. That, that nothing is perfect. So we have to go towards this uh, kind of changes. Then discouraging restriction must choose political party by stipulating stringent eligibility and high cash deposit required. Last election, there were 353 independent parties contested. No, and no, got, but uh, yeah. only 160 or something is only registered number of parties, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, but groups contested, no groups. No, they are also political no. parties. No, yeah, they are also, whatever it is, 353, if you look at the uh, list of uh, results, there are 353. So how, how can they work as a political party? Exactly. They are not then, registered in the... Actually, no, no, they, are, they must be registered. That's why their name appeared. No, they were the ballot paper. Their name appeared in the ballot paper. That means they are registered. Uh, but 353 were there. Outside the main mainstream parties. 353 independent parties, some got only less than 10,000, some got less than 50,000 national vote. So they, that's why we must uh, uh, discourage that is absurd, no? That kind of people and taking the time of uh, election officials and all that counting and all that. So we have to uh, high cost deposit requirements, then they will be, it will act as a deterrent. <laughs> but most <laughs> of them were decoys. That's what's happening. Yeah, exactly. exactly. To, so we can minimize, actually. We, we, we can't eliminate. We can minimize that all over the world. I think this is happening in, in, in a scale is that for a problem. It is the scale that it happens. We can uh, minimize the scale it is happening. Can I go to the next one, please? Yeah, we can do. Yeah. Or you want to summarize here and then. Uh, uh, yeah. Because you are still uh, 5.8. Uh, yeah, you, yeah. You've got 15 items, haven't you? Oh, yeah. Body, body. Allow member vacancies to be filled by. Uh, from the relevant register without uh, resorting to wasteful and dis dis uh, disturbing by elections. Uh, but under this new system, by elections are, are not necessary because uh, only merit 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 based people are in the parliament. So they are, we, we can depend on them because they are, they have been screened no, by the cleared by the people, uh, education, qualification, interview, everything. So they are getting a new set of country first political professionals. With them, we don't have to go and check whether the because <laughs> they might they, if they if they start killing the people in the parliament because they get up the ladder. <laughs> no, no, we can't. That is, I can avoid that. I mean, if 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 if, if they had to change the culture. It's cultural change at time. May, may fear actually with the fears you can uh, uh, trigger a cultural change. Then they can get used to it. There be okay. metric metric we, system. We, we uh, only fifteen minutes to be two hours is a long. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, they, so I, mean, I I suggest that let the yeah. audience say what they want to say and then sure, we'll sure. consider and take it up. Yeah. Just give an under yes. So, um, actually, you know, th this is about what Lakshman just uh, posted. So, you know, I have no doubt that, you know, everything that Bernard is proposing have merit, okay? Yeah. Uh, yeah. But I think we'll have to implement, they will have to be implemented. I don't think, you know, it's realistic to expect that everything will be, can be implemented in one right. step, one go. It right. has to be a stepwise process. Exactly. So, I'm questioning i am just bringing up chula yeah uh, before going to the uh, election commission would it be possible for us to invite a former commissioner and have a discussion and identify the items that 
we could present to them that can be which can be implemented without the parliamentary approval uh, the problem with the uh, former commissioners is is a good one if we can get them but i by personal experience know that they are tied up to one side or the other by giving Aye. another position so so what has happened if it's a current parliament i know i tried to contact mahindra deshapriya and then went through various means individual people everything else suddenly to find out he's a chairman of a committee of some kind of a uh, election thing so so they get paid after they are not a commissioner they don't retire they just get paid for something else done by the same government so yeah. so this is why it is difficult but it's good if you can get someone yeah 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 I agree because that may not be packed because you no, know, we should. In my view, that's why I made made it as a full package: political administration plus electoralism. Because we must put our cards on the table. It's up to them to select. I, unless we put our cards on the table, they will say, "Why didn't you do this? Why don't you do do that?" We should not allow any room for them to come up with different different ideas and you know change the whole uh, paradigm. We, we must put all our cards on the table and look here. What are things that you can take from this? Do whatever you can at the outset. Then consider others. Okay. Um, Ranjan, yes, Ranjan. Uh, thank you, uh, Chulan. You know, I've been listening to all of you very quietly. Bernard, your ideas are excellent. <laughs> but there is no chance of them of the next coming election in September being fought or conducted on those terms. We should have done this uh, about two years ago and we then we took, it, it may have been possible. Uh, Lakshman gave some very good ideas in the circumstances to yeah. go to the, to have a meeting with the election com commissioner. Yeah. We are laughing if he uh, we are lucky if he agrees to uh, implement at least some of them. But the chances are that uh, he'll be more negative because all election commissioners are creatures of the government in power. <laughs> that has been the practical experience. Uh, uh, the other point I want to mention, uh, Bernard, you, have, you mentioned uh, in your presentation you are referring to respectable, acceptable, sociable, independent, yes. and independent candidates. Yes. You refer to merit. Yes. Who is going to who is going to decide uh, who is respectable, acceptable, sociable, independent? Who is going to? Yes. That question has not been answered in your presentation. Yes. Uh, Another point, but I haven't finished, please, because I did not interfere or disturb yeah. when you were speaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, this independent candidate, who is this independent candidate? You see, how are you going to determine who is independent and who is not? You are referring to, you are, you are placing a lot of hope that your present ideas can be implemented uh, through the through a media, we all know that we don't. There is no independent media. This media is owned by uh, by various uh, money bags. For example, Morningstar, owned by Tiranellas. You see, then uh, this DR Vijay Vardhanas, Lake House, UNP, and so on. You see, so there is no independent media. In Sri Lanka, yes. to some extent in England, there was an attempt. I don't know how far uh, it has been successful or whether it has generated, degenerated to BBC, tried to be, uh, um, be independent of parties and politics. As to whether it is so or uh, today, I don't know. You see? So, we must now be practical and concentrate and focus our efforts on this coming election that we know definitely is now going to come in September or earlier. That is the presidential election. Why don't we focus on that at for the moment, for the present? Thank you. Yeah, that's a good idea, Ranjan. Mervin, yeah. you got uh, chances of our Mervin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Right. This is just a thought only. I mean, not going into that detail. <clears throat> uh, somebody within this forum shared a video not so long ago following that uh, plane that caught fire in Japan. Uh, yeah. And uh, it landed, and uh, 350 passengers, most of them are Japanese, were evacuated using the chutes within 90 seconds, not a single life lost. I think it was the concluding comment that caught my attention. Uh, some experts saying the reason why it was so effective as a textbook evacuation case was that Japanese uh, culturally, obviously the airline industry has got very rigorous procedures. In addition to that, Japanese culture, they follow rules to the letter. Nobody stands and ambles so challenge and so on. Uh, and therefore, no questions asked what was told. They did that to the letter, life saved. Now, I also have come across remarks from various bodies, including UNHR the Rights Commission, that Sri Lanka, when it comes to the constitutions, policies, procedures, we have some of the best in the world. But the problem is that we have got this uh, laissez faire attitude that we don't follow them. And uh, people give, never get challenged, taken to task for ignoring them right from top to bottom. So that being the case, yes, having some very good procedures in place is good. I think also what needs to happen, what is important is the change of heart on an individual basis to follow law and order and not to not to give in to in the shortcuts by bribing somebody. Until that happens, the people transformation happens, the best policies procedures in the world will not be able to change our country or the yeah, our our economy. Okay, Bernard, we, we yeah. thank uh, Mervin for all that, which is very true. And uh, also, um, we've heard quite other comments as well, Bernard. Do you have to do a final say about all the comments, uh, yeah. Bernard? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm thankful for all the comments made. Uh, my uh, only request is now, uh, as I at the outset I mentioned, these are out of the box. But we tend to think only in the present context. We must go out of the box and then start. Otherwise, these changes will never happen. We will always have an excuse to say, oh no, no, this is not happening. This will this is what has happened over the last 75 years. It has happened. Same thing. Always they say when we come into power, we do this, we do that. So I quoted the example of presidency, president's abolition of presidency and that 2018 the number of local government members to be reduced. 2018 to 2023, they were do, doing nothing. So uh, we have our duty. We must do our duty at least and say this is what we, we are not fooled. We are we are looking at this in this context. We are the sovereign board. The only thing is we must regain power from the uh, uh, regain power from the politicians and and to respect the sovereign voters because they just just mouth the word sovereign voter and get away with that and they do things that they want. So only thing is we have to say. Rather than joining them and saying, no, no, there is no time for all these things to happen. Now. But let us put our cards on the table. That's why one paper said nobody has come out with system changes. Just see. Just see. So uh, I think we must go ahead and give, as sovereign voters, we must give our proposals and uh, lay on the table. And then, then let people who uh, pick good things, they can always uh, go ahead with that. This is my request. Okay, Otherwise, Bernard, I, yeah, thank you. Uh... Thank you all. I, I need to follow on from here. And writing and trying to get an interview with the election commission is number That's one. Right. Yeah. Correct. Number right. two is working for the presidential election ideal ideal manifesto, which can yeah. be implemented by uh, independent candidate is number two. That's right. Now, can I can I possibly draft these things if possible within the next two or three days? Circulate it to you. And Bernard, is this possible? For yeah, you yeah. to come in and take this forward next Sunday. Ah yes, uh, 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 to a discussion, is it? Yeah, yeah, because yeah. because we need to have a consensus as yeah, to yeah. what is yeah, the yeah. So, yeah. so the one is the I can probably be able to draft a letter to the election commission. Uh, then the, you have to strengthen it by giving supporting legislation or. Or yeah. human rights or something saying this yeah. can be done yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. we have bowed to it or something like that you see you, you yeah. said that 
so that yeah. you don't have to go through everything through the parliament because certain things they could exactly. have done, they would have missed something like yeah. that. Yeah, so yeah, that's yeah. Number one. So we limit to those two, and if it yeah. gets through within an hour or something, then we yeah. can continue from item six. Is that okay? Yes, yes. yes. Item six. This, uh, if I may conclude this uh, comment, this petition to Supreme Court. Uh, is it can we? Is it uh, possible to make it? Uh, no, no, no. I have inquired that totally in relation to taking a petition to the Supreme Court. The yeah. the the easiest way is to, if there's an act saying revise the presidency or something like that, where there's mm -hmm. an act being proposed in the Parliament, then you can intervene through the Supreme Court. Oh. That's number one. Okay. Then uh -huh. number two is whether we can talk out of the court saying it's not fair and all that. It's very difficult to get in. So I've spoken to lawyers, asked the thing, but then one of the senior people said it's not impossible. So that's what he said. Okay. But most of the other lawyers that I've spoken to say this is the way to do it. So if you want changes through the Supreme Court, we have to target something that was happening in the Parliament and then target that or go for human rights or something like that. So any, anyway, legal system, I don't understand. That's what I understood in summary after presenting all this. Uh -huh. I see. So, so yes, there is a possibility to go through the this thing because just be watchful to say some kind of a change, election system change that uh, some that now there's an election, some, some co committee that's looking into it. If they come out with a proposal and go through the parliament and yeah. they want to tinker it, and that's the time you can intervene. Right. That's yeah, right. So yeah. We should be prepared for that as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Okay. Thank yeah. you all for very good discussion. I hope we can make a little progress at least. Although it looks like that we are kind of a sinking ship, we should not yeah. think yeah. like that. We should be able to do something. To get okay. ourselves redirected, yeah. So, so yes, we've got a little bit of openings today, which we learned, and thank you for everybody. And we'll continue this discussion next week. I will give you send you the agenda shortly. Yeah. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bernard. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night.